Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Moon reversed, followed then by the Eight of Wands in the upright. Next, we have the Nine of Swords upright, followed then by the Eight of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. So for your overall energy, Aries, you do have the Pisces energy, the moon in the reverse position, indicating something will become very clear to you this week. Something that has maybe escaped your clarity is <laughs> you've just not been able to see something in the correct way. It can indis indicate too sometimes <clears throat> that a misunderstanding has come to an end. Oftentimes the moon in the upright position can point to misunderstanding, can also point to deception coming from others, self-deception, illusion, just where we cannot see things in a clear fashion. When the card is inverted, however, this is where the clarity finally comes to us. We start to see things for what they really are. So for some of you, this could be concerning your career, work situation. Others of you, it could be a personal, it could be a relationship issue, it could be a lot of different things <clears throat> remember to just take what resonates for you these are just general reads so they're different for all of you some of you it will resonate highly for others it will not so just take it for what it's meant to be and um, accept it as such don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section below, especially if it does resonate for you, and let us know what's going on. We do want to hear from you. The beginning of the week, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright position, pointing to fast-moving situations, something a lot of communication is coming and going quickly. Um, for some of you, maybe you've uncovered a situation, and now it's opened up a door, and now there's a lot of communication going back and forth between yourself and someone else. This could be... In terms of relationship, yes, this could be where you're texting each other constantly and <clears throat> and uh, communicating, calling. It's all uh, all forms of communication moving quite swiftly. Now, some of you may have put out your resume, and this could be indicating right at the beginning of the week. A lot of people are getting back to you. Good news for those of you who are um, in business for yourself. This can indicate a lot of new clients. It can indicate a lot of sales, sales picking up. It can also indicate for some of you sudden travel. Maybe whatever is being uncovered here uh, is going to require you to take a trip or travel somewhere. Somewhere. But it's going to come suddenly, just out of the blue. So that's right at the beginning of the week, and it's paired up here with the Nine of Swords in the upright position, indicating a lot of thinking. Now, it's following this Eight of Wands here, lots of communication. Could be food for thought for you here, uh, Aries. <laughs> Maybe after all this communication, there is it's bringing up a level of anxiety for you. This is sleepless nights, having trouble. Uh, calming down our thoughts, maybe ruminating too much in our head a bit and causing the sleepless nights. It could be that all this information is coming at you with lightning speed, too fast, too much, too soon perhaps. Um, although I can't see it ever being too fast or too soon for, for Aries. But, I mean, that could be the case. Maybe it's a bit overwhelming and all of this information leaves you needing to deal with something or deal with a situation and maybe you just don't know how to. Something is coming to light, remember? A misunderstanding is being cleared up. So maybe now that you're getting all the full story, the full information, you're trying to figure out what to do about it and could be causing a little bit of anxiety. But what's interesting as we move on towards the weekend, you have the Eight of Swords in reverse, indicating a release of this type of action activity. The Eight of Swords generally represents an escape route, finding that escape route. So it could be that some of, of this information that is filtering through is now offering you some kind of escape route. You may not realize it in the beginning when it's first unfolding, but by week's end, you will be noticing that whatever information is coming forth, it is giving you a, a way to escape something. That made you feel restricted. 
Eight of Swords in the upright position points to restriction, imprisonment, feeling like we're closed in and there's no way out. When it is reversed, we are finding a way out. So for some of you, this information is coming in is causing quite a bit of anxiety, but it in the end, you find your way out. Last card you have is the Nine of Pentacles in the upright position. This is the strong, independent person energy. So this comes up when we're feeling okay about stuff. We feel like, you know, whatever's coming forward or whatever we're doing, um, we're going to be okay. This is fiercely independent energy. The only warning with this could be that you could be in too uh, independent. If somebody does come along and offer to help you, and you do need their assistance, definitely, you know, accept it, bring it forward. Um, other than that, the Nine of Pentacles is where you put yourself in a situation where you are fine. So it could be, um, for some of you, all of this information and what's coming to light could be about a financial matter, since uh, Pentacles do represent the financial aspects of our lives, the tangible things in our life. So... It could be for some of you, this represents your security, it represents uh, your financial independence, could be, like I said, a career or job situation that is happening here, a financial situation that could have put you in the beginning of the week in quite the tailspin. But it does look like you find an alternate route. You're able to, you know, uh, move on and move into a much more stable position. So I guess all we can say on this is all's well that ends well here, Aries. But that's what I have for you. I hope you have a fantastic week, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.